I teach beginning video production where students get a bird's eye view of all the different jobs in film and video production. And then Video Production 3.4, we create a little bit more independence for students. And students can take equipment home and they get a little bit more experience with cameras and actually diving deeper into the art form of filmmaking. And then I also teach directing. The students create a documentary all the first semester and then they create a narrative the second semester. So they actually get the experience of actually creating a film and they kind of graduate into being filmmakers. And yearbook, it's awesome because it's student-led, student-run. The students make the yearbook and I just kind of oversee the whole thing. I get to see students grow in design and photography and in journalism. It is the relationships that are formed. Being able to provide a space for students where we can establish a relationship of trust between teacher and student and then the students feel comfortable creating and being vulnerable to expressing themselves. Every action that they participate in in this program creates confidence in them. It's really great seeing that confidence. So from year one, I'll ask a question like, who wants to share, who has an opinion? And it'll just be dead silence. And students have a really hard time coming out of their shells. But by year four or year three, you just see that growth that just with practice of sharing themselves and sharing their ideas, that they're able to achieve. It used to not be like that. In my first couple years teaching, I used to try to play a character that wasn't myself, like as teacher. So I think I've gotten better at that this year and through distance learning, just to be myself and to share myself with my students. And I think that it actually organically creates a mutual respect that the, the students know that I'm not playing games, that I'm being vulnerable so that therefore it provides an opportunity and a stage for them to be vulnerable. So the school system that we operate in, it's archaic, it's ancient, it doesn't work for everybody, and it's proven not to work for everybody. We had an opportunity through distance learning through the pandemic to just kind of wipe this way of doing school clean and just start something new. I just don't think education is prioritized in our country. I don't think it's ever been a priority. I think it affects the health of our nation, and I don't think everyone sees it that way. If we were able to create an education system that works for everyone, you know, I would enjoy it a lot more. It just feels like teachers have to carry the weight all the time. So, and teachers and students have to carry that weight. As I'm walking through the hallways and I just see this overpopulated school, and I see rooms that are designed to have like 25 students in it and they have over 30, would I want that for my own kids? It's like driving an old beat up car and it just keeps breaking down and we just have to keep moving and move forward and like, oh, how do we figure this out? So it'd just be nice to get a new car. <laughs> One of the, the things I'm learning as a person is to continually just be in the present. If I get stuck in the past, that I'm feeling anxious, that I, oh, I, sh I should have done this. I should I'm like shooting all over myself. <laughs> S-H-O-U-L-D. If I'm looking way towards the future, I get anxious about fear and I get, I get fearful and get worried about what's to come. When I was a student, when I was in high school, my number one priority was impressing other people, was making other people laugh, was trying to get other people to like me. And I think that I was trying to prove myself that I was worthy enough for people to like me and I was trying to constantly prove that. And I wish I would have known and I wish that my students would know is that they're already worthy. As teenagers, we get blocked up. As adults, we get blocked up. We try to win people over when we don't have to. And as a teacher and as a person, if I could just stay in this moment, if I can just honor this moment, if I could just treat this moment as sacred, it kind of provides stillness in my life. I would have a lot less stress and anxiety in my life if I would have just stayed in that present moment and just been accepting of myself. And then I wouldn't have to worry about anything, really. And then I could be more vulnerable, which would make me more creative, which then would make me more successful in my creativity. I think that if we understand that, we'll have a lot healthier, more creative, more vulnerable self-expression.
So, to all my friends and people, just hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. So, what do you want to know about films? You want to hit that subscribe button, I'll show you. I'll show you what, it, what it's all about. <laughs> Is that good? Okay. All right. All right. Oh, that's a wrap. Oh, that's a wrap.